so no yellow. Yellow. Okay. So Agent Pikachu picked the yellow, and and uh, and Josh picked green. And as soon as they grabbed the figures and placed them on the board, and in, in the place they picked to place them, right? As soon as they place them on, everything disappeared. The part disappeared. Everything went away, and boom, they were in the land of Catan. <laughs> what is up, everyone? Welcome to today's story time video. Axel's going to be Axel backwards. Axel's going to be upside down and backwards this whole story. You think you can do that the whole time? Yep. You still have chocolate on your face. And crawling. He's doing the crab walk. <laughs> okay, you guys, so today's video is going to be about, again, one of you guys, one of the viewers, and his name is Josh, and he's six years old. Uncle Josh? And he's from Canada. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Axel has an uncle named Josh. And the story today is sponsored by Josh's mom and dad, and their names are Shannon and Jeff. And they want to tell Josh, happy holidays. We love you, Josh. All right, so before we tell the story, you guys, we're gonna get to know a little bit about Josh, okay? Are you ready? Mm. All right. Our family's huge Axel fan is Joshua, they said. Josh is six years old, and in his own words, he loves to exercise, ride his bike, play outside, play with his Tonka trucks and cars, play board games like Settlers of Catan. <laughs> what? Axel loves Settlers of Catan, you guys. That is so cool. Wow, travel to new places and explore in the forest. Josh is a homeschooler. He, he homeschools. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And he has two older brothers and one older sister that he loves to play with. Josh likes skating lessons, gymnastics classes. He has two skating. cats skating. Axel loves to skate, you guys. He has two cats named London and Zoe and a dog named Kiva. All right, you guys, now we're going to watch a quick video of Josh saying hello. Come on, sit down. Okay. All right. What are you doing? <laughs> Axel's making funny faces in the camera. Obviously. Who can make the funniest face? <laughs> Agent Piglet's here now, you guys, to listen to the story. Hello, the Axel Show. I'm Josh. That was Josh, you guys, saying hello to us. Hi, Josh. I hope you're ready to hear a story because we are about to tell a super fun story, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. You ready, Agent Piglet? Okay. Okay, you guys. So, our story begins where? Canada? Um, what's it called? We're at the skating rink here in Maui. Um, no, what's it called? What's it called? Ninja training. Ninja training? So, Axel was at ninja training, you guys, and he was doing Agent all kinds Pikachu. of. Agent Pikachu. Oh, Agent Pikachu, right. Agent Pikachu was at ninja training. He was practicing his takedown moves. Taking people down, yep. <laughs> and he was using quick attack so he could punch like lightning no like a million punches in this fast like that like da -da 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 -da. yeah that's that's I'm a champ can do a thousand punches a second wow that's crazy so you guys he was getting old, he was getting through with ninja training when he saw a new kid at the ninja training place and he he went over to the kid and asked him his name and he said his name was Josh and this was of a course Josh from Canada in our story, you guys. And Josh is like, oh, my name's Josh. I just started ninja training here, and I love to play out in the woods and to play board games. I'm in fact going to go play a board game of Settlers of Catan right now. And Axel's like, I love Settlers of Catan. After ninja training. Agent Pikachu. Oh, Agent Pikachu. Agent Pikachu said, I love ninja, I love Settlers of Catan. <laughs> Let's go play Settlers of Catan after this. But then Josh said, Okay, Axel. Agent Pikachu, I mean. Okay, Agent Pikachu. You can go play Settlers of Catan with me. But I'm going to have to warn you. This Settlers of Catan is kind of different from the Settlers of Catan you're used to. And Axel's like, Oh, is it, as, is it a new expansion pack? Not exactly, said Josh. You'll see. Are you sure you want to play with me? And Agent Pikachu was like, yes, yes, definitely. So after ninja training, no, they went to no, a park. No, Pikachu says, Pika, Pika, Pika. Pika, Pika, Pika. No, Kalama Park. <laughs> well, uh, Agent P he's Agent Pikachu, so he can speak English. And yeah. Pikachu language. And Pikachu language, yeah. He can speak English and Pokemon. And, and Pika, Pikachu-ish. 
Yeah. So, they went to a park that was nearby, Kalama Park, which is in Hawaii. And they sat down at a table and Josh said, Axel, are you ready to play Catan? And Axel's like, yeah, I mean, I love playing Catan, so of course I'm ready. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, Agent Pikachu. Can you just be Axel in the story? Because I keep forgetting you're Agent Pikachu. No. <laughs> no? Okay. All right. Agent Pikachu said, um, yes, I am ready. Why does he keep asking me like this? This is just a game of Catan, Agent Pikachu thought. All right, said Josh. So, you have to pick your piece. What color do you want to be? Red. Red. So, no, yellow. Yellow. Okay, so Agent Pikachu picked the yellow. And, and, uh, and Josh picked green. And as soon as they grabbed the figures and placed them on the board, in, in the place they picked to place them, right? As soon as they placed them on, everything disappeared. The part disappeared, everything went away, and boom, they were in the land of Catan. Right in the middle of a game, you guys. It was wild. And there was a war, the barbarians were coming. And the barbarians were attacking right then. So, Agent, Agent Pikachu and Josh decided that they needed to band together against the barbarians. No, Agent Pikachu just stood there like he was... Dumbfounded? Yeah. Oh yes, Agent Pikachu was so surprised. He was like, what's going on? How did we get here? What? Ah, ah. And Josh said, I tried to tell you, Axel, this is no ordinary game of Catan. Come on, come with me. Let's head over. <laughs> and so they hopped on over and uh, <laughs> and they started building Agent roads. Pikachu. Agent Pikachu. I'm going to keep forgetting. Can I just call you Axel? No. Okay. This isn't like a mystery solving video, so I keep forgetting that you're Axel. Okay, so, so that you're Agent Pikachu. So Agent Pikachu and... Um, and, and in this Catan, they can actually team together against the the uh, the, the defending the, some of the other characters. And so they were they were teaming up against white and blue, against the white and blue characters. No, against Scene and Jean. Against Scene and Jean. Mm -hmm. Those that? are two characters in Catan. Oh, okay. <laughs> in the iPad. Game. I think it's Sean. <laughs> John. I mean. Jean. Jean. Okay. Jean and Scene and Jean. Jean. Okay. All right. So they're teaming up against Scene and Jean. And so, <laughs> and so you guys, um, so um, they started building roads, building roads all the way to the different houses, right? And they and had, and they built a metropolis. And they built a metropolis. Which is four points. Which is four points. And they started collecting tons of stone and wood and wheat, you guys. Tons of stone and wooden wheat. And gold. And gold. Lots of gold. And they quickly became the richest people in the game, right? With the most resources? Uh huh, yeah. <laughs> um, but that robber baron kept getting them. Yep, he kept getting them pretty good. And But eventually, at the end of the game, uh, Axel and, and Josh won the game. And as soon as they won, they were back on the table at the park. Wow, said Axel, that was so crazy. How did you do that? I don't know, said Josh. I just, one day, I bought this old Settlers of Catan game from this from this uh, thrift store. No, it was, it was a haunted thrift store. It was a haunted thrift store. And, and they, we bought this old Settlers of Catan game from this haunted thrift store and I figured out that the first time I played, I went into it. It was so crazy. I was surprised at first. But the key is, you can't leave the game until you win. So one time, Josh was stuck in there, stuck inside of the game for one day straight because he couldn't win over and over again. It took him a long time to win until he finally got out. So Axel was like, oh, what? A haunted thrift store? Can we go back there, please? I said Axel and you didn't say anything. Agent Pikachu. <laughs> okay, Agent Pikachu was like, can we go back to this haunted thrift store? And Josh was like, uh, okay, I guess. And, and, and Axel said, can I bring Agent Piglet with me? Do you want to go to the haunted thrift store? And, and then Agent to? Pikachu used quick <laughs> attack and he automatically 
went all to the of them went to the haunted rushed to the haunted thrift store you guys and there at the haunted thrift store they had a lot of very strange items they had lots of candles and little ghost things and they had this really interesting box you guys with all these designs on it and the designs looked like they were of a jungle but and they looked at like them it was like little carvings and they figured out and then they looked at the carvings really hard huh? and all of a sudden the carvings were banana trees with a bunch of ripe bananas and apples on them. And they and then they, and they picked off the little bananas. They were like little mini bananas and apples and they No, they some. weren't real. They just oh, they weren't real? They just looked at them, the uh -huh. carvings of them, for a really long time. Uh -huh. And they stared at them so hard. The magic is if you stare at them really hard, uh -huh. you get sucked into them. So they oh got my sucked goodness. in. Then they got sucked into the jungle, you guys. Mm. It was wild. And all of a sudden just like in the Settlers of Catan game, they were in the middle of a jungle. And all around them were banana trees and other kinds of fruit trees. And to win, you had to eat every single banana in the game. And apple. <laughs> so, the game was, you have to eat all of the bananas and the apples in the game. Apples in the jungle? It's pure imagination, I guess so. There was lots of bananas and apple in the jungle, and you had to eat all of the bananas and apples to get out of the game to win. But the key, the the, uh, the catch is that there were jaguars, and they were howler monkeys. Jaguars and howler monkeys, also anacondas. So Josh jumped onto the first banana tree and started gobbling bananas down. They were delicious bananas, you guys. And then the jaguar appeared. And then the jaguar appeared. All of a sudden, and Agent Pikachu saw the jaguar, but Josh did not see the jaguar, you guys. And Agent Pikachu had to act fast because the jaguar was crouching and creeping up right next to Josh. And, and then Agent if, Pikachu if Axel had said anything, he would probably just pounce. What happened? And then what Agent did he do? Pikachu had eaten so bananas, so many bananas. He had already eaten a bunch of bananas. He threw up all the bananas oh. on the jaguar, and, the, and it just went straight into the jaguar's mouth, and the jaguar fainted because it tastes so yucky. Yes, he went. So Axel, Agent Pikachu, blah, blah, threw up all the bananas all over the jaguar, and the jaguar ate them all. It went down his throat. Yeah. Oh no! But this poses a problem, you guys, because the jaguar was out of the out of the, the the problem zone now but now they still had to eat all the bananas which meant that they had to get the bananas out of the jaguar and eat them again Ew. oh that's gross right that's really gross <laughs> so agent pikachu somehow got all the bananas out of the jaguar and ate the ball <clears throat> It was he really cut gross. the it's a good thing it's just a game. No, he cut the <laughs> jaguar in half, then he healed it back together. He cut it in half and healed it back together. Okay. Well, anyways, that was kind of gross. And then Agent Piglet right here, well, she was cramming down some apples, and all of a sudden the howler monkeys came. And they started howling. <laughs> and they started eating every single apple. And they started eating the apples. And oh no, wait. They can't eat the apples. We need to eat the apples. Oh, <gasps> no. Agent Piglet said no. Did you eat all the apples? No. No, you didn't eat. She didn't eat them all. She tried, though. She kept trying. But, you guys, fortunately, and we didn't mention this, but someone was tagging along with Josh whenever they went into the store, and they got sucked into the game, too. And that was Josh's cats and dog. And London, what? Zoe, and Kiva, you guys. And, and London, Zoe, and Kiva, they attacked the monkeys. And, and fortunately, the monkeys were super scared of cats and dogs. They were scared of cats and dogs, very scared. And all it took was a few scratches from London and Zoe just to make the howler monkeys woo, go away, you guys. And it was perfect. And then they ate all of the apples, all three of them. But you guys, there were still some bananas left. And some of these banana trees were across a a moat of water, you guys, like a little like, river kind of thing. And it, and it was had on the other side. In it. And it had crocodiles and it also had anacondas, you guys. And it was the Nile River. It was the Nile River, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you guys, it was really, really, really bad. And, um, <clears throat> uh, but, but Kiva actually knew how to hypnotize. Did you know that? Kiva, the dog, knew how to hypnotize. And so, 
they came up with a plan. All right, you guys, so we can't get across this. We'll definitely be eaten by crocodiles and by anacondas. But if we can get Kiva to hypnotize the crocodiles in the anaconda. No, just one. Just then one the, anaconda. Then the crocodile can... would distract all the other crocodiles. Yes, so they hypnotize one of the crocodiles, Kiva. They said, Kiva, can you hypnotize the crocodile to distract all the other crocodiles and tell them that there's food somewhere else? And Kiva said, woo, 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 woo. And that meant yes. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and so, Kiva the doggy, the doggy hypnotized the other crocodiles, the crocodile. And the crocodile went out and it was like, Oh, crocodiles, all the food is somewhere else. It is down the river. Let us go, brothers and it was sisters. The leader. It was the leader. And it swam down and all the crocodiles followed him until there was no more crocodiles. But there was still one giant anaconda, you guys. And, and uh, the dog had used all of his hypnotizing powers. Uh oh, the dog, Kiva, was exhausted from hypnotizing. And so all the hypnotizing power is gone. So what did they do? Agent Pikachu, since he was so fast, he just, he just ran around the anaconda and the anaconda just... Got really dizzy. Me. Yeah, because it was dizzy. <laughs> so Agent Pikachu ran circles around the anaconda whoosh, until the anaconda got so dizzy that it just laid down and floated in the river. I don't know how it floated, but whatever. And they walked across the anaconda bridge and ate the rest of the bananas so they could get out of the magical box. And whoosh, they appeared on the other side of the box, back in the haunted place. Axel is trying to catch something. You guys, back inside the, the haunted thrift store. Got it? Oh, it's right there. It's right by your face. It's right there. It's right there. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hold on, shh, shh. hold on. Axel, right here. I got it, I got it, I got it. Oh, oh, it ran away. Oh, no. <gasps> okay, so we were trying to catch a gold dust gecko, you guys. They're so beautiful. We want to show you guys these geckos. You see it? Be gentle. You got it? Oh, it's gone. No, it's not. I got it. You got it? Be careful. Oh, never mind. Oh, we were so close to catching it. Oh, you guys, look. There's one right here. So, you guys, this is really cool. You see that gold dust gecko right there? There, see him? Oh, 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 it's moving around. It's on the move. It's on the move. Wait, so, maybe it's hiding up in there to when a bee tries to get the nectar. Maybe. It you guys, you see those flowers right there? Those are on bananas. Those flowers have to be pollinated so these bananas can grow. And then those bananas right there are going to turn into that right there. Isn't that cool? This is how bananas grow, you guys. It's so it's neat. The, the the gold dust gecko? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't know. Just shake it. Shake it, shake it. Uh, let's see, hold on. Uh, I don't see where it went. Okay, you guys. So, can you see that gecko right there? Ah, oh, do you see it? Do you see that? Okay, I'm gonna try to catch it. Okay, hold the camera. Hold the camera right there. Gonna That's gonna be cool. Okay, you guys. I missed it. Okay, you guys, so Axel caught up one of these gold dust <laughs> geckos. Can't hold it by its tail. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, it's getting away, it's getting away. Be careful. Here, come on over here in the shade right here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. Oh, oh, there it is. Oh, look at those. Wait, do you see the stripes of red and then all that green? Jump down. Oh, it's under my shoe. Oh. Oh, there it is. Here it is. <laughs> Wait, look, Dad. Right? They don't usually have that bright coloring right there. Yeah, that's so beautiful. Mm. You guys, these things are so beautiful. Hold it. Hold it. Well, and hold this it. is a really good way to end our story, you guys. All right, can you say goodbye to Josh? Bye. Bye, Bye. Josh. We are so glad we got to tell a story about you having an adventure with us. All right, well, if any of you guys want us to tell a story about you guys, ah, go ahead and check. Oh, he's in your shirt. <laughs> 
go ahead and check the description down below and it'll tell you how you can sponsor one of our videos and get inside one of our awesome stories. Is it, oh my gosh, it's tail sticking out of your shirt there. Okay. Wow. Oh. Ah, <laughs> it's in me, it's right here. <laughs> it's in your shirt? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right, well let's let that gecko go so I can get back to the mugs and the banana. Oh, okay, we'll let you hold it.